Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris at Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. Believe it or not, I'm walking through a war zone right now, and I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says, What exactly is ecology? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a deck of cards. Okay, so today I am going to show you a really nifty probability trick that you can do right at home that's going to explain what animals need to survive. And all you need is a deck of cards. Okay, so if I separate these 52 cards into packets of four, How many of all those packets do you think will have all four suits? The heart, spade, club, and diamond. Well, place your bets now. Whoa, now check that out. There was only one group of cards that had all four suits. Whoa, now check that out, that's so wicked and cool. Now how, why, why, what does this have to do with how animals survive? And is it really true that only a small percentage of all the animals actually survive? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. In order for life to survive on planet Earth, all living things compete for energy. This energy is used to keep organisms alive so they can reproduce. When we talk about different populations competing with each other, we call this a community. In a forest, plants and animals are in competition for the most energy. Plants compete for food, such as trees growing huge, which means their leaves will get the most sunlight to produce the most sugar. Some animals, such as dragonflies, compete for food by being able to hover over the land, which gives them more time to spot their food. Plants compete for space, such as smaller plants being able to produce more of their kind. Since trees need tremendous amounts of water, this means trees can't be as close to each other as small plants, meaning there are more smaller plants than there are large trees. Some animals compete for space, like ants, by having large numbers to defend their area. Plants also compete to spread their genes, some plants having colorful flowers with sweet nectars, or others having tasty delicious fruits. Some animals, like butterflies, compete to reproduce by using colors to attract a mate. Plants compete with animals to keep animals from eating them, such as making poisonous chemicals that they put in their leaves. Animals compete with plants by building up an immunity to these chemicals so they can consume those plants. So now you know how species survive. You know, being able to use a trick and learn science is why science is so cool.